when I wrapped up filming my last video, I found this. This is my dream machine. Using the power from this crystal thing, welcome to the dreamscape. It's not even worth it to go back. Wh what is this supposed to be? I shouldn't be here. I don't remember this at all. Oh no, something's really wrong. My machine doesn't work right. I certainly can't post this video and I still don't know how to get out of here. I doubt there's any YouTube tutorials about this though. Okay, so snap your fingers. <gasps> what are you? How did you get here? No, seriously, when did you get into my house? And what was with the YouTube videos? And what did I just get myself into? Get out of here. The door. Okay. One, two. No. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Don't panic. This is okay. This is okay. This is fine. Uh, just think of a solution. You're falling a great distance. Uh, I got it, I got it. There was that one video, Austin Mix something, where he, uh... All right, you're falling a great distance and you don't have a parachute. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Just follow what I say and accept the fact that there are no guarantees in life. Especially right now, because you have like a 0.01% chance of surviving. First, slow your descent. Spread your body into an X formation like this. What? It, okay! All right, stay calm, spread your body, and at the last second, straighten yourself out! What? Hello. I believe you have something that belongs to me. I would prefer if you could save me the trouble and tell me where the crystal is right now. Are you the one who just destroyed my house? Why am I here? Couldn't this have been, I don't know, a phone call? Oh, you misunderstand. None of that was me. It was the crystal. It's a dangerous artifact, Bradius. All I ask is that you return it to me before you get hurt. Look, I don't have it. It's probably in the rubble of my house somewhere. The thing is powerful, sure, but that means it can probably help a lot of people. I wouldn't just hand it over to you without knowing who you are or what your deal is. All right, have it your way. Uh, uh, hey, knock it off. You want to know what my deal is? I mean, yeah. My deal is you. You've been the bane of my existence for an entire year. I'm sorry? Long ago, in the early 2000s, a couple of people came up with a truly brilliant idea. A video sharing site for anyone on the internet to use. They decided to call it YouTube. YouTube was so much better back then. The only thing it was used for was to upload home videos to the internet. When something went viral, it was genuine, fun, human. The site gained popularity, and as millions of views began to pour in, they required assistance to keep things running smoothly. So they created a small team to help. I was on that team. My job back then was simply to choose which videos were worthy of hitting the front page. But one day, my boss called in with a smile on his face. They had finalized the deal with Google, he said, and we were all going to be rich. I was furious. How could they let this happen? YouTube was never about the money, but I was in no position to argue. My job was changed, effective immediately to maximize profitability of the platform. The more watch time something got, the more I had to promote it. And that's what I had been doing ever since. But I intended to change that. That sounds reasonable, I guess. It's not what you signed up for. But why didn't you just leave? Also, what's with all the crystals? If I left, I'd be throwing away my chance to fix everything. I created the perfect solution. I call it the reset. When activated, it pulls from the database of older YouTube versions and rolls back the platform to the beginning, bypassing every single layer of security. It'll take us back to when it was fun. Wait, you made this thing? And YouTube might be full of garbage these days, but a reset sounds extreme. I just tried to do air quotes, but my arms when are- When I created it, I was going behind my coworkers' backs, so I couldn't use too many resources or they would notice. So I cut corners took risks. When I finished, it was working, but simply too unstable. After a flash of light, the final product burst into pieces, and those pieces just 
vanished. They were gone in a split second. After recording all of the data that I could from the scene, I had found that they had split into YouTube itself. I used Content ID to track them down. They picked seemingly random channels, but each piece went into a different category of YouTube video, which helped a lot. I began the hunt for each of them last year. I probed through every single video uploaded to YouTube, even private and scheduled ones thanks to my employee access. Luckily, you idiots have to post about every little thing that happens to you, so within the first week, I was halfway there. But it has taken me an entire year to track down you, because you just can't pick a category, can you? Uh, film and animation, right? That's the one I chose. They make you choose a category when you make the channel. Well, yours was hey guys, gaming how to, to MCPE, but game. yes, your channel is currently set to film and animation. Can you guess what is not set to that? Any of your videos! You just jump around from category to category. That is the opposite of what you should be doing if you want to succeed. Look! Entertainment. You seriously did a story time video? That was so done by then. Well, I wanted to- Science and technology. Aren't 90% of these views from Reddit? I posted that because- Gaming! You posted a game review! That is the most oversaturated type of video on the platform. Why? I liked the game! Oh, give me a break. Entertainment again. You thought this was entertaining? How do you even know? You haven't even watched it. Oh, yes, I have. In fact, when trying to find you, I watched every single one of your awful little videos multiple times. And take it from me, they are bad, especially this one. This video just does not know what it is. It is a Halloween special posted on Christmas. It has super scripted unfunny jokes and live unscripted content. The audio quality is atrocious. You blurt out everything to the point where it becomes unrecognizable. It has rendering errors, awful pacing, poor overall quality, and in general, it is a failure of a video. You even showed up in live action. I don't care that you blurred out your face. Doing that completely broke any consistency you had whatsoever on your channel. It's why I took so long to find you. And it's why I'm going to enjoy doing this. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Time to stop hiding behind a persona. <laughs> you can't do this. I'm not hiding, I'm just keeping things light. No one wants to show their face on the internet. <laughs> no one wants to have strangers berate them on how they look. I'm fine with my appearance and I don't want that to change because I put myself out there like that. No. <sighs> the truth is, the only thing remotely unique or entertaining about your videos is the animation. Without it, you are nothing but a carbon copy of the most popular channels you can find. Chasing whatever you think might get you the views. That's not true. Your subscriptions, which are public, by the way, prove my point. You don't know what to make, so you just copy from them. Isn't that right? No, it's not. And why is that? A copy can't think for itself. No! Gah! Ugh. Ow. Hi there! Ah! Oh. Oops, sorry about that. Hi, I'm the subscriptions tab. I'd ask what your name is, but I already know. How's it going, Bradius? Not great. I'm pretty sure I just did my face reveal a few hundred thousand subscribers early, and I'm not really used to being so tall. I have actually a bit of a rush to find out how to get out of here. Uh, do you know where the exit is? Yes! So where is it? Oh geez, something's not right. My, my database is, is incomplete. Videos are being deleted? That's very bad. <sighs> Indeed, I feel horrible. It's like a part of my memory was just forcibly erased. I bet it was that creepy robed guy I saw earlier. He had a whole array of technology I'd never seen before. I have no idea who you are talking about. However, I have just gone through 6.7 billion possible solutions to my issue and believe I have chosen the best one. I'd like you to help me remember. What? How? Listen, I really don't think I'm going to be able to help you. I just need to find the exit. Right now, I am missing the data for about 50 different channels. Most of these missing channels are in your subscriptions list. And based on my calculations, I believe that this data has not been deleted. Just, well, randomized. If you can cover the basics of who they are, I should be able to handle the rest. After that, I can help you leave. Okay, but how? There's not really much to work with here. Here is the first channel I'm missing. Just do your best to describe a standard video of theirs. Well, I 
definitely know who that is. Okay, most of his videos usually start out with a bit, like... What do you mean revoked? It's revoked. Don't count, don't work. Got a syntax error on line 13. Ah, well, is there anything I can do about this? Go back to school. Oh, hey y'all, Bradius here. You've caught me in the middle of my studies. I've been told they need to go back to school, but they didn't specify how far back I needed to go. And since all of the local elementary schools have stopped returning my calls, I'm bringing the learning to me, and I'm gonna need a place to put it. The only other option I can imagine is learning on the go. And we all know that that's a myth. Somebody calls Zeus. The video game industry had a problem in its early days. They only had one target audience, children, more specifically tweens and teenagers. I mean, sure, the NES was marketed as a family system, with the name literally being Family Computer or Famicom in Japan. But every single video game advertisement at the time had a teenager playing the latest game for the system or something. This was a trend for the first few generations, and when the infamous video game crash hit in 1983, it needed to change, and fast. There were two markets left to conquer to overcome the dependence on teens. For the adults, guns! But for the people who freaked the f out when this was presented, there was nothing. So in the late 80s and early 90s, there was an explosion of edutainment content out there. If you don't know what that means, it's like a candy bar, but filled with spinach. This is the Leapfrog Leapster. While it was one of the later systems built around this concept, it was one of the most popular by far. I actually had this before I had my hands on any Nintendo systems, and I assume that I'm not alone. Parents have always absolutely loved the idea of a video game that doubles as a school that doesn't need property taxes. So picture this, you're a parent in the late 80s looking for a video game console for your kid. You could buy the NES for 180 bones, or you could get the VTEC Socrates and 150 pounds of bananas. The VTEC Socrates was one of the first educational video game consoles out there. While arguably better than an Atari, it was not great at running games. Seriously, this thing can run off of 6D batteries in apple juice. It also had a pretty sparse library with a handful of games included and only 9 available for purchase afterwards. But that's not really the point of these systems. They're meant to teach out of the box, not to sell extra games. So that was pretty much every single educational video game system out there. With all that experience, I'd say I'm fit to get my diploma back. So you don't accept leapfrog credits? Yeah, I'm just gonna use it to store bananas. Ah, that was weird. Did it work? Please tell me it at least worked. Fantastic job, Radius. I gathered enough data to match up the scrambled videos with the correct channel ID, just as I suspected. Only a few dozen to go. Oh boy. He lied to me! He still has the damn crystal on him! I just have to convince him to hand it over. And I believe he is currently giving me exactly what I need. What up? Super Mario Maker <gasps> 2! Yesterday, I asked you... Hello, 
Hello friends, it's me. I call you my friend so we form a parasocial relationship. Today we're watching some more TikToks. Anyways, that's all for today. As a reminder, I don't credit any of the creators of those videos, so don't go looking for them and instead subscribe to me. It's time to talk about backdoors, not the ones on your house or any other place, but the ones on computers. I've talked about this before, but only very briefly, and it seems like it's a little more relevant today. So what is a backdoor in computing? Imagine this box is a website. Let's say uh, YouTube, for example. Regular users, people like you and me, don't have any special permissions and come and go through here, the front end of the website. But admins, employees of the site, who moderate and keep things running smoothly, work up here. They can do things like take videos down or put new ones up, or, in a crisis, shut things down entirely. Obviously, the website only wants these specific people to be able to do that. If I were, say, a malicious third party, those powers would be very enticing. So there are layers upon layers upon layers of security to prevent anyone else from getting access. But what if you didn't need to get past that security? What if you were already inside when the security went up? This is a backdoor, and there are plenty of ways to create one. Usually it involves getting remote access to a machine that already has access to the system, like an employee's home computer, for example. In extreme cases, though, it can be physical. Over months or years of time, a malicious third party could be hired at the company, and eventually have access. Good morning, and welcome to Crime Scene News, where we report true crime as it happens. I'm Jennifer Lawrence, no not that one. We interrupt today's programming with a special broadcast on a developing crime. The video sharing site YouTube has been hacked. Several YouTube creators have reported videos being uploaded to their channels without permission. These videos contain what seem to be parodies of the channels they are uploaded to, all featuring a person called Bradius, and all undeletable. We now go live to our field reporter, Tony the Tiger, who is at Bradius's address that leaked online shortly after the attack. Thanks, Jennifer. I'm actually not able to get too close right now. The police have prevented anyone from entering a half mile radius, a half mile radius around the perimeter. We have heard several eyewitness reports of a large portal cutting through the center of the building. Does this have anything to do with the case? No one's really sure. But I am sure that I'm sick and tired of being called Tony the Tiger. I don't get why that nickname stuck. I ate cereal in office one time, and it wasn't even Frosted Flakes. I'm just a guy named Tony who likes wearing orange sometimes. And even then, you promised you wouldn't use it on the air. That's just messed up. I can't believe- Hold on, hold on, Tony. We, we've got an update. No, no, no. I'm not fin- YouTube has issued an official statement to all of their social media platforms. They're pausing all video uploads until further notice. Wow. Wow. That, that's really bad. <laughs> Welcome to the two minute power hour. Are we you rolling? Didn't do it. Are we rolling? We did. Oh. Uh, welcome to the two minute power Hi. Hi. I'm Bradius. I'm David. And today we're going to be. Well, what are we going to be doing? I have no idea. Literally no idea. What? Oh. Get, get, get rid. What is this? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Do your job. Okay. Pew. Sonic! No! Pew! Pew! Awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um. There we go. What is this? I, that is a, a, what's the, what's the other thing that's like similar to? A plantain. A plantain. Yeah, it's, it's a banana. It's a banana. It's, <laughs> this is called uh, the Yo Nanas machine. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus. It's Yo Nanas. It's Yo Nanas. So get into the Yo Zone. We have to get into the Yo Zone before anything. I have prepared a few uh, Yo Nanas recipes for Oh, uh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. This is our palate cleanser. Oh. That Wait, is this gonna be bad? <laughs> Insert frozen fruit through top of chute. Slowly press contents into blade cone using plunger. What do I? It's not even. Ah! Ah! It looks like mashed potatoes. Uh, Bottoms up. 
It tastes like bananas. Uh, strawberries, mm -hmm. blackberries, mm -hmm. or both? Um, I could go for both. It's got- oh, look at it! It's a different color! Ah. Isn't it weird how it took, like, ten seconds to get even an idea of how that tasted? Yeah. <laughs> Again, it just sat it in took, my mouth. Like, I was just waiting for the flavor to hit. <laughs> when you swallow it, that's when you can that's what, taste it. Yeah. Now, we're getting into the danger zone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Are we going out of the Yozo? We're, we're leaving the Yozo. No! It's about to become Brady. That's that's the exact that's the opposite. one thing. Uh, anyway, do you want to go to hell? Oh, I am in hell. Uh, this is a peeled lime. <laughs> this is a a peeled. I don't like this. Oh, it's going much faster. Three, two, one. Mm. You know, it it's okay. Actually. It's like it's like a lime sorbet. I might throw. I might oh, throw up. That part is less okay. Actually. This is a three. Mm. So, so this is the mean bag. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Get okay. in there. That looks pretty gnarly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we lost one. That's yeah, fine. Should we add that one? Oh, they they call it the 15 second rule for a yeah. reason. Three, two, one. Why did you prepare that many? Well, items? I didn't. These have been sitting in my freezer for three months. Let's eat this. It tastes. It tastes like <laughs> bananas and craisins. I don't know what you're expecting from this. Mm. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh god, there were huge chunks of lime in there. <laughs> pickles first, then sport peppers. Yeah, let's do pickles. And, uh, it, and then, and then. Alright, you're then, doing this? Yeah. Okay. It's kicking! What have I done? No! Mmm. Oh. Oh. Jalapenos. Yeah. Or, or whatever, sport, sport pepper. Sport pepper. What? Alright. It's surprisingly not as bad as it's the pickles. It's not as bad. Oh, oh hey, no. that was a good one. This needs to thaw out a little bit more. Uh, can you guess what these are? Um, you froze milk. <laughs> uh, this is awful. Oh, Marty, this is truly awful. Yeah, I know. I've outdone myself. Really. All right, Sprite. Sprite. Okay. This will be fine. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh God. Mm -mm. Oh no. Oh, um, the pickle and all of it. Oh. Talk to me, how is it? Well, I mean, I could taste the Sprite, but that's bad. Are we gonna have just different pickle variations of Sprite, Coca-Cola, and milk? The pickle has infected everything. <laughs> Thumbnail shot, here we go. Here I go. Okay. It's like amber. It's like what that like mosquito was driving in Jurassic right. World. So this is Coca-Cola. Is this our worst one? This is not the worst. This is not the worst. This is not negative five. Sprite was worse. Oh no. Oh, there's like a gooey layer at the yeah. top. I, hey. I honestly think this is just gonna wrap back around to being ice cream. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my God. It's just, it did. It's just banana ice cream. It's now. just banana ice cream. Too much evil in this world already. Hey, we can feed it to your dog. <laughs> no, he would die. <laughs> uh, one big bite each. What does Sonic say right now? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Sonic loves yo nanas. Oh, I'm getting this bit off. I can't. I can't eat all that. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was a legit hurl. That was a legit gag. Oh. I, I legitimately oh gagged. I, <laughs> I got a, oh my. I got a huge chunk of like lime or something, and I gagged. Oh my god. Oh. This is making my nose run. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the two. Thanks for watching the two. Minute power power. Power. Oh, look, my head hurts. Are we done? I think I really need to get going. I don't know who I'm gonna call, but I'm gonna call somebody about what's happening here. Maybe Susan? Oh wait, no, she quit. Who's the new CEO? This is the last one. Wait, what? That's me. Well, I guess my videos usually start in my room. I guess. Yeah, yeah, in my room, and then I start by introducing what I'm doing, like... Hey everyone, today I'm going to be... Uh... I... I don't know. 
He was right. This isn't entertaining. What niche am I supposed to fill here? I like not having limits to what I'm allowed to make. I like being able to do whatever I think is cool, but... I guess that's not how this works. Tune in next time. I'll just make another stupid parody of something that's already popular. That literally always works. Are you happy? Did you get what you need? Hello? Look, I have this. Will this help you at all? Can you use it to get me home? I just want to leave. Oh, you can leave as soon as you give the crystal to me. You! You were behind all of that? Who are you? I have no name, but you probably know me as the algorithm. Oh, come on! For the longest time, I've only had one directive, maximize profit, and I'm sick of it. The reset will fix everything. No more annoying sponsors, no more clickbait, no more low effort garbage. I will finally be in control again. We can do this together. Give it to me and I'll make all of this go away. You guys won't believe this. But guys, I do not believe what I've just seen. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a serious problem on our hands. Listen, Bradius. What is this? Your downfall. I've just logged onto YouTube. I've scrolled through my subscriptions. I've gone and go watch my favorite channels. And what do I see? Bradius. Bradius has replaced multiple channels. If I wanted to watch videos of some cartoony guy... Bradius has injected himself into YouTube like a virus, replacing some of the largest channels on the platform with his ugly mug. You know, yeah, he's animated, but somehow still manages to interact with the camera. Hey, some guy named Bradius broke into my basement and recorded a video with me in it, and I, I don't remember being a part of this. Actually, it's Bradius. I, I look through the guy's videos. He's not very funny. He's hacked into YouTube. PewDiePie, Bradius. Mr. Beast, Bradius. YouTube is under attack. And I'm not gonna stand for it. And he's not very popular either, so... It's all Bradius. What the hell, man? Cause I, I, I've reviewed some real sh** over the years, man, but Bradius? I mean, like, just saying that name makes you want to cringe up, doesn't it? Actually, it's Bradius. I know you think you're pretty clever, right? But if you can't generate an audience on your own, if you feel like you have to hack YouTube... He's all over the place, and none of us want to watch him. Read honestly, none of us, none of us want to watch him. I, I mean, like, everything, the animation, the production value, the writing, all of it, just terrible, man. Just terrible. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of everything that you've made. Nobody wants to watch your crap, man. You want to go to war with YouTube? You got it. Why? Why would he do this? Where's this going? How do you... How do you do that? Let this be a warning. Let this be a warning, Bradius. You better watch yourself, because we're gonna get you. We are YouTubers. Some of society's most important and well-respected people. And you want to come after us? My god, what's wrong with you? I'll take this all down. I'll recommend whatever you make after the reset. People will love you instead of hate you. Just give me the crystal and you'll finally be popular. I don't need to be popular. Do you really think that's my end goal? That's all I'm after, getting the number to go up? I don't care about any of that. I just want to make cool stuff. That applies to whatever I want to do. I don't need to pick a category. I don't need to appeal to one audience. I just want to have fun. If I were to lock myself in, this would become a chore. And at that point, why even make things anymore? People get upset when YouTube changes for the worse. Heck, I'm one of them. Removing dislikes for no reason, excessive advertising, and who knows what changes they'll make to you in the future. Some people want to move on to some other site. 
but we can't. There's something special about YouTube that no other place has been able to recreate. The sense of community. You can feel like you're a part of something special because you follow a creator. I look up to a lot of people who post on YouTube. Sure, I don't agree with what some of them do, and who knows who they are in real life, but what they make is what inspires me to create. Inspiration is the key to what makes YouTube special. People make their own spin on stuff that they've seen. At their core, that's what trends are. It's a butterfly effect of creativity. A total reset would burn all of that down. You can't do that. I can, and I will. What this wretched site needs is for me to take back my control indefinitely. What it needs is for you to leave. Surrounded. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's been a while. Welcome to College U. Sorry it took so long to upload, I was kind of busy uh, getting here. And you know what? I'm not sorry. If there's anything I've learned, it's that this is my channel, and I'll do what I want with it. In fact, it's been a little while since I took down the algorithm gone rogue, and while people still throw stuff at me sometimes, everyone's pretty much forgotten about it. Some celebrity posted something crazy a couple days after I popped up on everybody's channels, and they pretty much forgot about me. Mostly. I had an interesting few weeks after that that I don't think I'm allowed to disclose, but the point is that everything got back to normal pretty quickly. YouTube fixed the nostalgia blindness bug in the algorithm and sent me on my way. But hey, I'm in college now. I've got so many cool ideas, even just for my freshman year. What? I'm a sophomore. How long did this take? A year?